Hello, it's Mr. Mises here, and I am going to do my second example for using um, calculus to do max and min valve problems, like uh, optimization, what they often call these. So let's take a look at this example. And I'm going to use this step-by-step -step process again. And so the first process, the first step of this, is to uh, get my variables. So I'm going to choose my variables in this case. So I'm going to have x, which is going to be my first number. And I'm going to have y, which is going to be my second number. Then the second step is going to be to write my primary equation. So my primary equation here is going to be that s, which is the sum, is equal to 2x plus y squared. And I get that from my directions. Well, again, remember that my third step is I need to rewrite with only one variable on each side. So I got to figure out one of these that I want to have and switch it using some other information by making a secondary equation. Well, I know that the sum of the two non-negative numbers is 30. So on the side here, I know that x plus y equals 30. So uh, let's go with, uh, let's just solve for y. 30 minus x. I'm going to go and plug 30 minus x over here. And I'm going to get s equals 2x times, oops, not times, um, plus, plus 30 minus x squared. All right, um, then I think an easier way to do this is to, um, let's go ahead and, and multiply this guy out. So I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and, and distribute this thing out here. And I'm going to get uh, 2x plus um, 900 minus 60x um, plus x squared. OK, so then I'm going to add those like terms there. I'm going to get x squared plus, uh, oops, not plus, minus, come on, man, uh, minus uh, 58x plus 900. All right, so now that I did that, I'm going to go and find my domain. So my domain, so this is step, so there's step three, this is step four now. Step four, my domain, my domain is going to be all x values between 0 and 30, right? It's got to be 0 and 30 because remember that the total sum is going to be 30. So, you know, the biggest one could be uh, one of the numbers x could be 30 and y could be 0 or uh, x could be 0 y could be 30 but that, that's the that's like the the most it could be or the least it can be so there's my domain so now I'm gonna go to step 5 step 5 in my procedure is to do all the calculus stuff so s prime take the derivative is 2x minus 58 set that equal to 0 and I'm gonna get x is equal to 29 and that is a critical number. So I'm going to take a look at, oh my God, there's a fly in front of me. And it's, ah, I just got attacked by a fly, people. Oops, 30, zero. Those of you that are in my class, you totally understand where I'm coming from with this crazy fly epidemic in, uh, in, this, in, in the area we live in. Okay, so this is uh, S prime here. And if I plug in my values, um, let's plug in, you know, plug in one here and uh, 29 and a half, something like that. We're going to get, um, we're going to get, this is, this here is going to be minus. We're going to get negative here and positive here when I plug it into my derivative. Remember, you're plugging into your derivative. So that tells us it's going to be decreasing and then increasing. Okay, if it's decreasing, then increasing, then one of these two one of these two, 0 or 30, is going to be our absolute max. And, uh, and this right here is going to be an absolute min. Well, let's take a look. It's asking for, this question is asking for the maximum. So we really only need to decide between 30 and 0. So I'm going to go and find out what S of 0 is. So I'm going to go and plug in 0, and I'm going to get 900 in my original equation, which is right here. And I'm going to plug in 30. And when I plug in 30, I'm going to get 60. So which one's bigger? 900 is bigger. This is our max. All right, so I'm going to write in a complete sentence. The first number, the first number 
is um, is zero because that was my x right is zero and the second number for those of you that are newer that's a hashtag but it really means number second number is 30 okay now for part B we're looking for the minimum so the minimum we're just using all the same work here and we have this value here which was our critical number so we're looking for s sub 29 and s sub 29 is going to be 59 now we really actually don't have to do this work I just wanted to illustrate that it is between 960 which is going to give us a minimum so we're going to say that um, the first number is 29 and the second number is 1 and we get that by plugging in 29 in here 30 minus 29 is 1 okay so there's another example of an optimization problem in this case we're looking at the maximum and the minimum um, in this case since we were looking for the maximum we had to check the endpoints in this case because we ended up with a uh, an absolute minimum when we found the critical number all right there you go um, that was my second example of max and min value problems for calculus see you later guys